thanks for watching Didi Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Today we have a special treat. Um, this is Boo. They just rescued her from a shelter down in Longview, Texas. They drove three hours to pick her up and three hours back straight to My Favorite Groomer here in Halton City, Texas to get her groomed. These clients have been with me since 2011. Um, I found cancer on their golden retriever, Annie, and she's on my website. If you go to myfavoritegroomer.com, go down to the bottom, click on Where's Dee Dee Today. She's pictured with me in my blue apron, and uh, she's she's gone. She's been gone three years now. Annie was a delight to work with. She wagged her tail during the whole groom. But these clients knew right where they were going. They said, we knew we were coming right back to you when they decided to get a new pet, and they did. So they rescued this baby from a shelter because their niece works at a shelter. So, or, or volunteers, at one of the two. So thank you, y'all, for coming back. It means a lot to me. I mean, it really warms my heart to know that I made such a difference in their lives. So I miss Annie, and uh, what's funny is they were talking how they named this baby Boo, and she's pretty matted, but on the w drive up, they said the same color as Annie, and Annie is the same color as this. And so it's just amazing how some things just kind of mesh together like things were meant to be. So here we are, we went out of our way and came back out here and kind of uh, came in tonight. Uh, this, it's like 6.30, 6.30 p.m. So we came out here specifically to meet those clients and, and take care of their baby after their long trip. So if you're a salon, do the same. Go out of your way sometimes. It will last a lifetime. The impression will last a lifetime. I will never forget these clients. They mean a lot to me. Um, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna have to shave down. The mats are serious, so David can take a look at the matting. Um, I made sure the vaccinations were up to date before I could get her in for the safety of everybody. But the mats are horrendous, and the flea poop is horrendous. This is flea poop, flea dander, however you want to call it. It's the same thing. Uh, one little poop is a few fleas, so thousands of little of those is a lot of fleas. But she said they treated her for fleas, so hopefully we don't find any. Um, there is a discount I give for rescuing a dog and grooming it like this, but there's also flea charges if they come in with fleas. So you try to work with them when they're doing good, but we hope we don't have fleas because flea eggs can last up to three years without hatching. So you can see in a salon that could multiply and it can actually affect dogs coming into the store. You don't want a store that's that dirty that's got fleas infesting other dogs. Okay, so I'm going to... She doesn't have a stench of urine, which is she's lucky. Um, the mom said she was in the shelter for less than, I think, 36 hours, so really, really short period in the shelter. We don't know. She was definitely on the streets getting wet. That's what this does, wet and running around. But we don't know if she came from a house or anything. She doesn't have a backstory. She's about a five-year-old pet. She's a, a schnauzer poodle mix is what they're calling her. And we're going to get started with our tin, shave down all over. We're not looking for pretty. We're looking for get these mats off, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna start always like I, I like to start back here at the base of the neck. I have no idea how she's gonna be, so just be prepared. She was, it's okay, you're okay. She was really good for the ride, but you just never know, do you? You never know when you get in there. Get down under the mats. You can't go through the mats, you have to go under them. So I would never demat this dog, ever. It's too much painful working out of mats. Like, heck no. And because we might have a flea issue, I'm really, really keeping myself contained here. So all this stuff hopefully will go right into the trash and then we are going to spray everywhere after just as a preventative. I have a, she doesn't like some things here. So I am watching myself. And it might just be because of the matting. You never know, because matting is painful. It's pulling on the skin the whole time. But she might also just not like people messing with her feet, so we'll just see here soon. I'm watching, you know, like licking the lips is kind of a warning. Look at all that flea dander. Ooh, gross. Look at this, it's so gross. Poor thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was gonna try to leave it all in one tack, but I wanna get all that flea stuff out of there. I personally don't think you can see flea eggs, so they could still be there, even though they didn't, they might not have hatched. 
So we do have a flea here, but I think it's dead. So I'm gonna take a better look here. See the fleas were definitely treated, right? So that's awesome. That sucker is dead. So if I saw a flea and it was dead, I'm not gonna charge a flea charge, no way. But we're still looking around and we're still taking precautions because we don't want a flea to jump off, which can jump 12 inches at a time and totally be on the other side of my salon having fun later and partying. We don't want that. And because we are doing a 10 down, just kind of keep it all as straight as you can without creating too many lines. Cause that way after the groom, again, you don't have to come back and do too much work. It's already done. When you're working with a dog with this much flea dander, look at all this. Oh my goodness. Mm. Look at all this, man. If I had this dog and it didn't get flea treated, do you know that there's probably a thousand or 2000 fleas on this dog? That's how much flea dander it can accumulate when there's a lot of fleas. That usually means it's been running in fields. It's some uh, dried blood, but I'm checking to make sure it's not a tick. Just kind of scabbed up, maybe from all the fleas doing damage. As a groomer, you are gonna get some of this flea dander in your thumbnail, so after this, make sure you quarantine yourself, kind of clean yourself and wash under your nails and stuff like that. She's kind of doing some sitting, so I'm just working around everything, just trying to get it all out of her way, out of my way. We'll come back to the tough spots in a minute. I'll grab the dog up stand. If there's any of these tools that you feel like, wow, that looks like it, I could use that tool, please order, order with us. These are my favorite clippers. If you order with us, we try to get the best rates because there's not really any profit in the clippers. It's just providing you with something that I work with. We try to get you the best rate, but it's gonna come in all different multiple colors depending on when we ordered it and how many we bought. So they come in multiple colors when ordered, but check the website down below. These clippers are my favorite. Do she doesn't like her feet. I'm sorry, don't get mad at me. You're okay. You're okay. Um, check down below for the clippers. These are my favorite. They're not cheap, um, but if you want some used ones, we have a couple used ones still left. Uh, a, different, a different style andus, but if you want to get started being a groomer, then you can do that there. I will be muzzling her in a minute because I can just feel, sometimes there's just something that happens with the dog and the groomer. And if you have that feeling, just muzzle so that you have a little bit of reaction time. Because you know I tell you, they can bite through the muzzle. She's wanting to sit down, so what do I need? The dog upstand. About to go get that right now. When you have this many fleas issues, make sure you watch your tools where you're putting them so that you can control what you need to really clean later. You don't have to clean a bunch of stuff you barely used. Okay. David's got your hands on a minute. I'm actually going to use this dog up stand. And let me see here. Okay, so I'm gonna have you stand up here. And we're gonna get you to stay stood up for me. It's just snug right there. So I can work on this area. Hopefully she doesn't fight it. Here we go. Cause we got, no, 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 you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Uh -uh 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 -uh. You're okay. Now I'm not going to have that dog up stand under there for hours. Don't do that. You guys, some of you that have ordered it, you know, this is just, you see how quickly it assists and help me just keep going fast. If it's going to take me a few hours, I might need a helper. I might want to try to speed up the process. Oh man. She couldn't even poop correctly. Look at all this. It's just stuck everywhere. I'm so sorry. Boo boo. I'm so sorry. I'll stay there. I got it all out. And then we're going to go into a private area here in a minute, but not right now. I'm going to get the dog up stand out from under her first. Yeah, see, if she wants to fight it, dogs are going to do that. She's alive and well, and she doesn't want to stand up. So she's going to fight me a little bit, but I'm going to have to just move faster. No, no, you're not going to fight me. We're going to get her done. Okay, we're going to get you done here. We want to get, use the dog up stand where we need to. And then I'm gonna come back, look at all that matted under there. I'm gonna come back and do that separately. Okay. Oh, we gotta come back separately. I gotta get this dog up stand moved after. Let me get this stuff done. You're okay, don't get mad. Don't get mad, no, no. So I got the dog up stand right here, so just watch for that. We'll come back to that. And move quickly here, because she doesn't like to stand, which is fine, it's helping me. So we don't wanna have it under there too long. 
but I gotta get in there and move the stand to get in there anyway. Okay, so some dogs will do this whole number because this is an animal. She has a mind, she is thinking, but she's still working for us. <laughs> boo, 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 really? Man, you're something else. <laughs> this is hilarious. Can I get a picture of that? <laughs> Can we get a picture? God. Is this really what you're doing to me? Is this? Let me see if I can get a picture here. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Gosh. This is called stubbornness. You're stubborn. Which is fine because after we get a haircut, she is gonna have some really good, some really good character. Are you serious right now? Okay, it's done. We're done deal with that. Okay, I am gonna muzzle her just because of hesitation so I can work without feeling like She's gonna bite me when I'm trying to get personal. If you're using a muzzle, I say you should work with the muzzle and be done in about 30 minutes or less. Don't leave the muzzle on all day. That's not what they're designed for. That's my opinion. You don't want it to affect breathing. You just want it to be there just as quick as the dog upstand is. In and out. You wanna just use the muzzle and get out of there because it's uncomfortable and sometimes it really pisses them off. And sometimes it doesn't, but usually it really pisses a dog off. Okay, clean all this out real good. So um, this is a, about a one hour appointment. Mom and dad are actually catching dinner right now, so lucky for them. And I said, when you get here, just wait outside. I'll call you in. That way if she's too excited I, and I'm using scissors, it doesn't make her feel, pull it back like she's hiking her leg like she was just doing naturally. I said, just pull up out front and I'll come text you or call you when we get done. They, um, of course, they're cool with that. They could have waited in the lobby, but if they did, I would have just said, because they were already here, but in and out of the store makes it difficult for a dog to be like, relaxed. So, this is my 10, we're still using the 10. I am using a ceramic blade, it's my favorite. We do sell them, so if you want any of those, they're not on my website yet, but just email me below if you want some blades in general, but ceramics are my favorite. They cut faster and they're much cleaner. I just discovered this a couple years ago. I actually didn't ever want to change my blade situation. I use Andis. I have some Oster, but I use Andis. They're about the same thing to me when it comes to the blades. But the ceramics, oh gosh, I think it's been two years now. I really fell in love with the ceramic blades. So if you need some, Email me, those are not on the website. I'm gonna come on here and cap some of these knots I can still see from the other side. She was just hiking her leg like this, so it's not hurting her. She was just doing that herself with the dog up stand, so use that same kind of natural, natural, what they do naturally position. kind of get her mind off of something else come back to the front okay all right let me see here. Let me move her this way I'm gonna change out my tin cannot wait to bathe her and get all that look at all that flea dander and dust up there it's gross to me the way it feels too Ooh, feels like pepper feels like lots of salt and pepper up there Boo boo, come here, come here, don't get mad. Come here, come forward. There you go. I'm gonna tighten this up a little. Hey, 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 where are you going? Come here, come, co come closer to me. She doesn't want to, does she? Okay, stay there. If you wanna stay there, stay there. I'm just gonna come work with you here then. Watch the armpit, just swipe up there. Real fast and real lightly. Get in and out, I'm gonna see all that just hanging there. All right. I know I'm always talking to you guys about stuff while I'm grooming. So if you don't watch every video, you're going to miss something I, something I mentioned. So uh, we're going to be at the Pasadena Groom West show. Pasadena, uh, uh, don't get mad. Man, don't get mad. I'm in Pasadena, California. So if you live in the area, email me and I will get you some tickets to come in. 
Okay, I'm going to come this way. Pasadena in February, so. Sweetie, I know she, I know she don't like her feet messed with. Uh, 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 uh. Don't, don't get, this is a bad situation for me when I'm coming with, to the face, even with the muzzle on, so. I'm gonna try to come get this paw from the back. <laughs> no, just go fast, get in and out. She's pulling, jerking, she does not want me in there. Okay, if you wanna lay down, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, now get back up, here we go. She's like, get off of me already. The patience, I've told you guys this, man, the patience on a dog, on a grooming, especially matted or aggressive, is about three minutes. T toenail trim is about three minutes. Let's just say the grooming is about five minutes, and then they're like, get off of me. So you want to move fast. But quite frankly, I learned how to move fast because I was slammed with dog grooming 20 dogs a day at PetSmart. And it's either make it or fail. So, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, definitely got an ear infection here. Maroon in the ears. Okay, I'm not a vet, but I've been doing this a long time. That's my opinion. That's an ear infection. Um, definitely have a lot of ear hair to pull. I'm just trying to see what I'm leaving with this. Okay. I think, uh, actually, I'm going to do the pads. Let me sweep my table a little bit. I'm gonna come back and do my pads, do the nails, and then we should be free to, to let the muzzle go without messing, or maybe, maybe I'll come back and pull the ear hair too with the muzzle on, okay? So once I take the muzzle off, we're not back and forth putting it on and off, on and off. What dog was that the other day? That one dog that learned, the Yorkie, that learned the muzzle was coming off and on and he got really, really aggressive? Coconut. Yeah, coconut, the aggress aggressive Yorkie. So, and, uh, you learn something new every day if you pay attention, even if you've been a groomer a long time. Just analyze everything you do. So we're gonna do pads. Let's see here. Oh shoot. I need to flip all these over. This is slowing me down here. Here we go, doing pads now. My hands feel so dirty, and I'm barely trying to touch the coat, but I feel very, my hands are very, feels very dirty. You know how things are dirty and kind of itchy on your, like on your here? Ugh, they feel dirty and itchy. She's licking her chomps. She's not liking that. If you don't like this situation, then you come over here and pull it this way. Pull it behind so you're not interacting with her face. Use a one finger push here or a tap when you're trying to correct. I'm just trying to get in there and out. No, Fir be firm. gonna push her back in there so I can move quickly and get out of that area she hates right I am gonna revisit checking the pads for for matting later the it with it well screw it well, let's do it now she's been chewing at her pads I can see but might be because of the dirt in the mats but they weren't that matted so we'll come back now and do the nail trim real fast. Watch your face. They, I've had a, a, do, a dog or two buck me in the face. It's not pretty. Be ready for it. Or put yourself, put your face out of the situation. But you need to pay attention at the nails. And if you're doing nail trims at home, do not follow my advice here because I had one lady quick the dog really bad at home. Don't do that, you guys. Get some training first. I do know what I'm doing. And I'm very fast at it. And these are black nails, so... The toenail trim video, we're looking to come here hopefully in a month or two. And it will be a DVD instead of on YouTube. So watch out for that. We'll mention it on our YouTube channel. So here again, she's hesitating. Her mouth's right there. I'm going to be 
safe and come over here. I have a hair in my nose. Some nails are different. You can see how I took some off the other ones. I'm already there at the vein. This one needed a little extra. Okay, let me try this a little more. But did you see how I pulled this way? She did a lot better. So you gotta change your tactics a little bit for each dog. Okay, so now we're gonna pull ear here. This might be a little, a little different. It might be a little difficult. Okay, this keeps moving. Okay, watch yourself. You don't know how she's gonna act. Watch this, it's a knife. Could act as a knife. I'm just gonna, um, let me get some, let me make some room and get clo closer to the pet. Let's see, cause you don't wanna pull stuff you could just shave out, but you do want the stuff in the ear to come out. And little by little here, oh, let me get my, uh, my little pet ear pad. Okay, we got these for sale. Now these little ear pads, it's gonna help me go fast. Watch this. They're on my uh, check below or check. He, David might put a link here for you. So I'm going to able to just pull and get rid of it there. I used to do this. I used to wipe it on the hair because hair sticks to hair. But I'm able to now found this little cool tool. And uh, I want you guys to have one. So buy one for me. Really want you to support me by shopping with me. If you find my video is educational. I mean, I need you to help me grow. So would love your support. Shop on our our website if you need something you don't see it I will get it for you just email me you scratch my back I'll scratch yours so give me a holler okay let's see here yeah buddy yeah boo I'm calling her boo boo okay coming over here she's doing great definitely know there's some inflammation and some discoloration maybe I'm gonna do a free ear flushing because they're longtime clients and I mean they're rescuing her so we're gonna flush these out with malacetic audic, which we also sell. You need to clean them first, obviously. Then we're gonna do a flushing. Okay, let's see here. Okay. She's doing so good, you guys. Sometimes you don't even need that dang thing. Sometimes it's just, it's right here, just grab it. And I didn't need ear hair or ear powder because it's real dry. If it was really nasty and watery, I couldn't hold it like that. Okay, so we're good there. Oh, it's so kind of like dreadlocks here. See this, like a dreads? So I do need to go ahead and take this down. It, I mean, I could brush it all out, but I'd prefer to start all over. What do you guys think? So now I can take this off because we know she did fantastic for all that good stuff. And I'm gonna switch out my blades. I'm gonna come in with a tin. I'm gonna clean this one that I've been using with her. Now, if you're hesitant about when you groom a dog like this, you've got flea spray, I sell this as well. This is my favorite, Adams. Um, spray your table, spray the trash as a precautionary if you wanna do that. This stuff is really strong, so that's about as much as I wanna spray. Or I don't like the smell of it, but it's really gonna do what I need it to do. Okay, okay. This ear is sensitive, because it's infected. I've still got my 10. I might muzzle her, but she wasn't showing signs of aggression when I was pulling her hair, but that might be because the muzzle was on. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I was gonna do like a guard, but this is all like dreadlocks still. David, can you smell the flea spray? Yes. Strong, right? So you don't wanna do more than like 10 sprays. You just wanna make sure you've got your table sprayed and the trash, because that sucker is killing fleas. Not that we're seeing any, but any live ones. I'm lightly taking it because I'm going to try to do something with the face without taking it off. I'm not digging down with the 10 reverse. I'm just lightly getting under the mats and pulling it out. So let's see. This is all matted under here. Hmm. The shelter had already done some trimming here, which is fine, so they could see her face. That's why if you live next to a shelter and you want to get into grooming, go help them get some grooming at the shelter done. 
take my videos, learn, get the tools, I'll build you a kit, go groom at the shelter for free, learn some things, give a dog a second chance at going home. A haircut goes a long way, man. Check out our website, myfavoritegroomer.com, and the shelter dogs we've done. And you'll see, you know, dedicate some time. A haircut gets a dog adopted fast. I need to turn all, I'm going to turn all these upside down right now. Okay. I've got a seven now. And I'm actually going to do a seven. I'm going to just match what they already trimmed. Just take this all down with like a seven. Watch this ear flap. It can go right into the teeth of the seven. Just coming down. Very lightly here, just coming down, not really pushing too hard. Because afterwards, I'm going to probably use, once I get all this dirty, matted stuff out of the way, I'll probably try to come back later with a guard, the four guard. So that way it's not to the bone, which uh, sometimes you just can't get away from. See, it's a seven there, but it's matted. I'm coming back with a 10. I don't want to accidentally cut her up there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna come back with a 10 now. It's too matted for to chance it because the neck has some loose skin sometimes. You know, I hate this color here, so I'm going to take off this maroon here, clean her face up right there. And I hate that hair goes in the mouth there, so I'm going to take all that. Everybody's to each their own. Take off all that maroon so she's not sucking on it. All going into her mouth here. You can see the curls of where it's going into the mouth. Good girl. You're doing so good. It's doing so good. I'm just going to take it real lightly with the 10 and I'll fix the uh, dimension of the hair in a minute. Come this way, get to go through some of these mats. Let me see. Let me see. That's a good girl. Yes, it is. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, now I can come back with my 10 and see, or my 4 guard and see if. We can get some structure to the face instead of just a shaved face. I believe in like really doing a haircut on these animal shelter dogs like I told the owners of. There's something about the smell of the shelter dog that does not go away with a bath. And so if you get a good shave down summer cut, you're gonna find, wow, that dog has no remnants of the smell of being stray and a shelter dog, so. I'm kind of going back and forth with my guard. Just if I hear, feel a tug, I'll go backwards a minute. And after the bath, this will clean up much nicer. It's pretty short, but I mean, we did a shave, so it's okay. And let's go. I'm gonna come back with my 10, clean up the inside of the ears, get all this stuff out of the way. Cause I'm gonna go a little cute puffiness on the ears, I think, and then trim it down to the leather. So I wanna get all this out of the way here. Just grimy dirt and maybe that infection color here. All this flea residue, yeah. Sorry about my comments, I'm just trying to talk out loud to myself right now. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to save all the brushing for last so that I don't have a bunch of flea dander in all my brushes, if you haven't noticed. But I am going to trim these ears down to the leather. But don't get mad. I know this is a sensitive spot here. Don't get mad. So hold your leather. I can see where the ear is right there, so I'm not holding it down too far like I normally would, but I can see the other side. Okay. I'm trimming it up right to the ear. So later after the bath, we'll detail it up when the when the coat's more clean. What do you think, this or this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll come back this way. 
get those minor dreadlocks starting off. I love ears like this, and uh, the less hair, the more attitude the ears can show you. They'll move up and down, back and forth, and I just love that. Okay, thanks for watching Dita Krog. We'll be back after the bath. Here we go, we're back with Boo. We did a really nice bath. David did a really good job. Again, Pet Soak Shampoo and Conditioner. Order from us, you're gonna love it. If you don't need a gallon, get the small one. I think it's 16 ounces. So come, come look at the coat, how clean it is. All those, uh, the dander's all gone. Um, the flea poop and dander is all gone. I'm so excited. It's extremely soft. Uh, pet silk shampoo is, to me, I just love it. I just love that shampoo. Um, I will try some other shampoos in my lifetime, but I really love the smell and the, how soft the coat is. It's just so soft. <laughs> she did so good, David said. One of the best. He did one of the best. Yeah. Hi. Yes, he did. All right, so we're going to clean her up. Made sure my clippers are clean because I mean we did we did a lot of dirty work just before this so make sure my clippers were clean dusted off ready to go I got my tent in there double check it just not uh, pushing too hard because I mean we had to go short because of the mats but I mean I really don't love that she's shaved although it'll be a very low maintenance haircut for a while she won't have to brush as much. So just come back and now tidy it up. See, I don't have to hardly touch any of that if I don't want to, because I, I did a good job in the beginning uh, during the matted, dematting, you know, shave down, first shave down, rough in. What am I talking about? Okay, she wants to sit. I will get the dog up, stand out. But I think I can move pretty quick. Just go around in a circle. And I think I saw the pet parents out there waiting. So not that it rushes me, but I don't want to dilly dally at all because it's late. It's only taken us 34 minutes so far from start to where we're at now. Uh, while David was doing the bath, I was gathering, um, I'm building them a kit. So they'll have, because they haven't had a dog in three years, you know? And so I was like, well, what, what do you need? I might have it. So I built her a kit and I got some clothes. They did mention something. Always listen to what your clients are saying. Listen and write it down, take notes. She said something about, or dad said, I might have to get her a shirt now. So I went ahead and pulled some shirts aside. We're going to try some shirts on. Because it is, you know, 20 something degrees here in Texas. Uh, I know you got, and it's a January 2018. And I know you guys are going through a blizzard up there. My friends from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, DC, all you guys up there. I know you guys have got some snow. Hang in there. Hope you don't lose electricity for too long. Thanks for watching. So real lightly coming back and just cleaning some of this up here. This is um, just heavy maybe from the collar, you know. Real lightly just taking some of the whatever's hanging out in my way. Remember that piece of skin here, push it out there so you can get all that nice and even. She does not like her feet messed with. At least she's not angry or anything like that. And her body and everything, we can definitely tell she's got a little bit of schnauzer in there. In the size of her, her body, I can tell. I'm looking over and I can see some where I need to come and get it there. So look at the edge of all, all the hair. So now I can probably come back and just tidy everything up, tighten the noose so I can get a, her to look still for a minute, tighten that up in a minute and then get that with a four reverse now because it'll just take, it'll blend everything all in. I still have to come back and do her feet, but I want to tighten this up first and it's kind of sweet so I can see what I'm working with. If you all have been watching, some of you guys have really camped out and watched videos, videos after videos, um, until you got all through like my sideways, sorry, she kind of pulled back while she was going to bite. Um, you guys have watched some of my videos for days straight. Um, you notice I kind of do the same thing over and over. Whatever it is that you're going to do, 
if it's uh, sending out 20 letters, you know, do everything the same over and over. Fold all the letters, then pocket all the letters, then put all the stamps on, and then lick all the lick all the envelopes. That tedious repetition of doing something over and over helps you get fast at it. So take everything in stages, and if you do the same thing over and over, you will get fast at it. So do the same thing over and over. Create your habits. And then sometimes watch yourself analyze, and if you can save time, like cutting down something else differently, then work on changing that, changing that part of it. So now I've got my four guard. I'm going reverse to kind of not continue taking length off, but just to keep the length right where I want it. So some of this I missed, you know, because it was so dirty and all that. I don't want to take any more length off. I just want to even it all out so it stays right at a certain length everywhere. And I don't even know what that length is. You just see it. You're just looking at it going, okay, that's hanging too long. That's too short. Just to even everything up, I'm going to take it down with a four reverse on the face and everywhere. Okay. Watch your blade guard, the tip of your guard. I don't know how you say it. This tip, watch that when you're coming towards the eyes, but you can get in there and get out. I want to say I did not tighten up her neck. She's looking down way too far for me to do my job well, so I'm going to tighten it up here in a minute. You need the dog's face looking at you. How can you do a haircut when you, the animal's looking down? You can't. So I'm going to move this a second. Put that right under the chin there. That way I can get her to look up. Like this. Okay. So now we can some of this. Hold that jaw bone there. Oh yeah, she definitely got schnauzer. She definitely got some schnauzer in there. I can see the in the face. And she's got the poodle hair. It's all curly and stuff. So I'm going to leave these a little long, but I'm going to go ahead and lightly come down with my four. And I'll come back and tidy these ears up in a minute. Just kind of lightly do this, and that pounces all that hair you just chopped off, off. Just do that. It's not hurting or hitting the dog. Just kind of pounce that hair off a little bit so you can see what else you still have to come and get. Okay, we're looking good. Looking really good. Okay, let me think. We got to do... Ears. Yeah, thank you. And some tight. I saw, how, I saw that I still needed to do that. Really quick in there. Just inverted V. Oh, that's right. I need to come back and do this call here. See this one she has? She's favoring this one. Big time. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't like me getting in there. Hopefully, she don't bite me. Don't try to go there and don't bite me. I, yeah, you're doing great. I don't think you're going to bite me, but she just never knows. She just does not like this call messer. Okay, okay, all done. All done. We're done. We're so done. I'm tricking her. We're done. We're all done. Yes, we are. I don't know. We did that to you. Let me see this one. Forward, forward. Ta 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 ta. Boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo. Good, good girl, good girl. Come here. Come close. Come close. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. <laughs> I got you though. I got that foot. I have to get this one next. See, they love to sit. Some dogs are just lazy. I'm telling you. Just do it down on the, with the 10. I don't have to come back and truly scissor. See anything with your looking around, looking at the angles, hair sticking out, you gotta come fix it. Nothing in life's perfect, not even a haircut, but you can try to just make it, get all those little flurries sticking around. Go up, push everything up and in your way so you know what to take. Make a note to this chart, you know, that this dog favors her left front leg and actually going to inspect it a little bit more if I don't forget after I'm done here. Okay. Oh, we're looking good. Okay, so let me sweep this off so I can kind of see what we got left. I love my trash, you guys. Have a trash that works for you that doesn't slow you down. I find the bigger, the bigger ones that do a better job. So you're not changing the trash bag out like every 
every other day, but have a lid so you can contain that trash because that's why you're not taking it out. You are able to contain fleas and things like that. If we had fleas though, like massive flea without trash would go out. But I'm just not a very wasteful person, so. So I recycle and everything like that. So you, I recycle paper, you know, I try to be as earth friendly as I can. If you've ordered supplies, you can see my boxes are recycled. So forgive me on that, but that's why I just choose to be a little earth friendly. Eventually though, as many as those dog up stands are selling, I'm definitely gonna have to buy some boxes soon. Okay, here we go. Just gonna tidy up. Watch your scissors here. She's really fighting it. No, ah, 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 ah. Okay, let me see here. Come in this way. Let me see. It's really, really hard skin right there. I'm just gonna trim that back. I don't know what that is, but maybe. Let me see. Can I see? Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna brush this back. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, 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 ah. Be firm. Because you're not hurting the dog, but you need cooperation. Okay, I'm gonna check out that, I'm gonna muzzle her and I'm gonna check out that foot in detail. Just wanna make sure we are not hiding something that I need to get out. Could be a splinter, it could be all kinds of stuff. Sometimes it's a mat in there, you never know. I have pulled anything, everything from, I pulled a lure, a fishing lure out of a dog's coat. When I got done shaving it, I pulled a lure out of there. It wasn't in the skin, but I was like, oh my gosh. So. It could be a cockle burr or anything like a needle out there. You know, if you're running the streets, you could pick up anything. But that fishing lure, I, I want to say that was just a family situation where they, you know, they just weren't paying attention. She was not out at the lake. Okay, so I am going to, oh yeah, do you see her eyeball, her ears now? See her ears react? You know, they can make these movements and stuff. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to really inspect this foot right here. Watching my face, I'm gonna come at it like this. I just really wanna feel it and look around. So I, you don't even need to look at it. You can just close your eyes. She does not like it. Okay, okay, let's just take it. I'm just gonna feel for anything weird. Okay, sticking out, sticky gum. She does not like that at all. She doesn't like that at all. Okay, 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 no, no. See, let me do this one, see? See, there's nothing wrong with this one, right? She's fine with this one. Okay, okay, let's see, I'm gonna check the muzzle. Are you okay? I'm gonna do this one one more time. Okay, come here, let me see. Let me look in there. Let me try to protect you. So I'm just feeling nothing. I don't feel anything abnormal. I will brief the pet parents. Um, they'll see the video eventually once we get it on YouTube and they can kind of just monitor it. She's doing okay now, but I'm gonna just tug on them a little bit. I'm not a veterinarian, you guys, but I am a groomer, and this is what I do for a living, so. There's one knuckle in here, the second one. Feels a little awkward. Maybe just being on the streets kind of thing, or jumping in a cage, or, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare it to this one. Let me see here. Like, my eyes are closed. I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling around. Yeah, there's definitely a knuckle a little different than all of them. So it's like round, don't don't round, don't don't round space, don't don't on this third this uh, third finger here. So interesting. I'm gonna let them know. Is that what's bugging? Huh? You never know. It could just be pulled out. It could be just genetics. But she's definitely favoring this foot big time. Okay. We're almost done. Hello. Almost done. Okay, stay there for me. I still gotta work on her face a little bit. Okay, so who's that? Is that mommy? Okay, so I'm back with my 10. I'm just seeing a little bit of hanging down here. Nothing big. I'm gonna double check. I'm kinda doing this, right? I'm gonna come back with my seven on the muzzle. 
I know y'all are like, don't get the seven on the face. Well, if you know what you're doing, it's okay. We're just gonna kind of fade this over here. That's there. Stay there. Okay, just come down on the muzzle there. Not in the eyeballs and stuff, don't be doing that. Just kind of evening out that hair. And I actually wanna come back with the 10 and cut, take off all that right on her lip. Should have done that already, but I didn't catch it. Okay, here we go. It's gonna take this. You don't have to do that, and all groomers are not gonna do this either, but I'm just kind of picky in some weird ways. Because I know what that hair is gonna do. It's gonna suck up into her teeth and cause some issues later if I don't take care of it now. So her teeth are looking pretty decent up there. See them? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I'm gonna come back with my short scissors, short straights. Stay, stay there, stay. And I wouldn't normally do this, but I just see him hanging there and she's a pretty good dog. See anything else, kind of fix it up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a 10 right there and get some of those scragglies hanging down off after. See, see, when you have to go back and forth, you lose time. Oh, because I've got to clean her ears and flush them because of the infection, like the type of infection she might be having. So I waited for that to last. So we got a little bit of stuff in the way here because I still got to go back and, and clean the ears. Yep. Pull all that, even on the back, in your way and just trim like that. Like pull that all this way. Okay, what am I doing, right? I'm gonna pull that out in a second. Okay, let me see. Trim some of this. Just kind of sticking up. It's not a big deal, just little stuff. Remember, it was all kind of matted and uneven, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Not this time. If she was jumping up and down, we would have the bubble tip scissors, but she's not. I feel safe using these right here. Some more of that maroon stuff hanging there. <laughs> Gotta move it out before you swipe. Okay, watch the tone. All right, let's see here. How do you guys think? What do you think? She's looking great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We didn't even leave any eyebrows. We gotta work out. We gotta figure this out what we wanna do. We could totally leave eyebrows next time. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take out some of this real dirty stuff because I'm about to clean her ears and this is just build up. And go up straight here because all this light hair fuzziness. Watch your um, clippers. Just get that out of there. Instead of trimming, see how it hangs down right there? Just trim that out of the way. There we go. This one doesn't have a bunch of that other gunk, so. Hopefully the ears are not as bad as I think they're going to be. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Pause. If there's something you guys want, I'm building you a really good package. So just put it on the table to, with the other stuff. Okay. If you see something you're like, because I love you guys, so it means a lot to me that you've come back. I'm going to get you, get you a, the best deal I can. What are you doing, David? Hmm? I'm recording. Are you? Yes. Already? Yes. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, David? He's looking, he's doing something with his phone. Okay, um, what do you think? It looks great, right? Woohoo! Yeah, it looks ears. great. Ear, I know we're doing the ears. I know. We're doing it. I'm just buying time here. Okay. <sighs> Let me go with, we're going to do ear cleaning. I have a feeling we're going to do some flushing. So I got cotton balls, Q-tips. You don't like that? Okay. Okay. Go forward. Put it back here. She didn't like that. 
my ear cleaner is here. Okay, here we go. If you need ear cleaner, let me know. I got it on my website. Don't lose your stuff here. Like I told you, don't put anything on the table. She might not like it. We'll get the muzzle if she starts to act weird about it. But the licking of the lips, I am watching. They're real dried out. So dried out like dirty dried out, right? Yep, so they are definitely infected. David was like, Dee, Dee I think you should do these. And I said, oh, I agree. So because they're infected, I am going to muzzle her because this might not be very, might not feel good. I had to use a, several swipes on this ear cleaner. If you need ear cleaner, check out the website, check below. We'd appreciate you shopping with us if you find these educational videos helpful to you. So we've got this maroon color here in my experience, and I'm not a veterinarian. My experience is that's water, probably out in the rain or maybe fell in a puddle, got in the ears for quite a while, built up this yeast. Yellow, uh, yellow is also something that comes out of the ears and usually that's a allergy issue. Again, I'm not a veterinarian, this is my opinion. I've been doing this a long time scooping back look at that if i just left off at the cotton balls i would have not gotten those chunks look at that i don't even want to go back with that one i'm going to shake this off here excuse me i'm going to go this way with the other side so scoop back there's a little lip right there scoop back look at all that there's another way you can do this and i'll do this now since they don't they don't mind they might be full with dinner so they have some time to hang out with us and I'm gonna show them all this later and brief them on how to do it themselves and then sell them the product they may need if they choose to get it tonight. So I just took a little tiny bit. Look at all that, I'm still getting out. If I'd have quit already there, it, this would have still all been left in the ear. So you take your cotton ball, you get it wet with the ear cleaner and you put this around your hemostats like a Q-tip and up and under those crevices. Get all as much of this gunk you can. Swipe forward down right here. Not digging, just swiping forward. Do around like that. Right in here, do you see that little hole right there? There's a tiny little, not a hole, but like right here, just forward right there. Just like right there, that's all you gotta do. Okay, well that's good enough for that ear. If you see that it's really, really nasty and it's bloody, you need to stop because you're gonna do this again a little later. So you don't need to make them all raw. If you're really not sure, please just go to a veterinarian. If you don't know what you're doing, get training first. Hands-on training, not through the YouTube videos. And go see a veterinarian. Okay, let me see here. So I'm gonna, it's very dry, so it needs some of this fluid to kind of start breaking all this up. Look at all that, woo! If you can't tell you guys, your dog has an ear infection. She's going to the vet Okay, so I'm gonna scoop here. Go forward back there. Okay, scoop up in there. There's a lot of dirt I can see. Look at all that. So since she just said, the dog's gonna go to the vet Monday, so we are gonna Ziploc this stuff and they can take it with them. That way, if there's any question, um, they can put, they, they'll know what it is, but they can actually put it under a microscope if they really wanted to. Since I've already started the cleaning, I'm just gonna send them home with this. That's what I recommend, okay? forward here remember the Yorkie that was really mean this is where we could have gone with it but the ear canal was so swollen it was so painful just absolutely painful for us to access that ear so if you can't do it just send them along to the veterinarian if you just can't do that as a groomer for them see so scooping back and I'm still getting stuff out of here so okay baby I know you want to shake your head I know you do I know give me a second here Okay, like right now we're getting a little redness. Just quit. We've got to do this again later. The process, we'll be doing it again later. So we've already done our after picture. We're going to do the flushing now. This is the last thing we do because when you have to flush the ears, this part ends up being a little wet. Okay, so we'll do that very last. Are you licking and stuff? Okay, so we're going to flush with malacetic otic. Again, you can find all this on our website. Oh, you're getting out of there? You want out? You're done? Are you done? Are you done with this? Okay. So she wasn't aggressive, so I'm cool with it, right? I don't mind grabbing her up, but be careful, you guys. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna trickle a little bit. Not, you, don't, you don't have to put a lot in there. You're just going to trickle from the top. I know you don't like it, I know. Trickle a little bit down, just like that. It doesn't need to be a lot. Okay, 
hold it up. Try to keep it held up while you do this one. Same thing, trickle from the top here so you don't suck it up. That's a little cold. Let me see. She's gonna shake her head, so watch yourself. She's gonna shake her head. Can you shake your head? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, shake your head. Oh yeah. You want that solution down the ear canal. It uh, really helps break up that debris. And if you do it, this cleaning and the flushing twice a day for 30 days, depending on your scenario, check with your veterinarian, please. Um, you will kick that infection as long as it's kickable. If it's a really, really bit out of hand infection, there's nothing a tumor can do for you. You need to see a vet. You might need antibiotics and things like that. I can't brief you on through YouTube. So please um, get professional help. Okay, so we're going to pause out. We're going to say bye, but we might come on video when we try out a few sweaters. Thank you for watching DD Core with My Favorite Groomer. Please uh, like us, share, 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 and check out our store and shop with us. That's how we grow. Thank you. Bye.